Welcome to Easy Learning, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics st statistics. And our subtopic for today is going to be mean. So, in the previous lesson, we discussed how to create a frequency distribution table. So, in this case, you are going now to be using the data that we've been given to calculate the mean. Sometimes you can be given some raw data and you have to calculate the mean. Other times you need to create a frequency distribution table and then use that information to calculate the mean. So we are going to do the both cases. So mean is usually referred to as arithmetic mean. So you're going to hear arithmetic mean and it's usually the average of the data value of the data. So what we do, you take the sum of the data values and then we divide by the number of data values. So for example, if you look at this data, we don't necessarily have to uh, get, create the frequency distribution, distribution table, but we can do so to enable us to do the calculation. But we can also calculate this, the mean of this data without necessarily making the table. So the first thing we, use, we need to calculate is the number of the data values as we've seen in the formula. So the number of data values basically is just the number of data values as it says. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have total of 20 data values. And then after that, we need to get the sum of the data value. Basically, we are going to add up all these numbers so that we can be able to get the total value of these numbers. So let's add up that. That is 9 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 11 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 6 plus 13 plus 8 plus 8 plus 13 plus 5 plus 10, which will give us uh, 142. So we are going to do uh, 142 divided by 20 which is going to give us 7.1. So the mean of this data is going to be 7.1. So let's look at another data now where we use the frequency distribution table to calculate. So the first thing we are going to do is create the frequency distribution table. So we have max on this side. And then we have tally as we did in the previous lesson. And then we have the frequency. So you start with the lowest value, and in this case, the lowest value is 3. And 3 appears only 1, 2, there's no other 3. So 3 max appears twice, so the frequency is 2. And then 4 appears once, only once. And then 5, 5 appears 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, five times. So when we do the tallying, that's how it looks like. Then the frequency is five. And then six appears one, two, three, thrice. So three, and then the frequency is three. Then we do not have seven, but we do have eight. Eight appears once, twice, thrice. So three times. And then we do have 9 as well. 9 appears once, 2, twice, that is. And then we have 10. 10 appears once only. And 11, and also 11 appears once. We do not have 12, but we do have 13, which appears twice, this and this. So that's how we created the frequency distribution table. You ensure you have put all your values. The next thing, we need to create another table of the value of x. So when you create the value of x, the value of x is the max value. This is be our value of x. Sometimes you are going to see that in the table, especially when we are doing the frequency distribution table. Sometimes you always, sometimes you can be given the table with already the values of x. So when we, we calculate fx, we are going to calculate to multiply the max times frequency to get fx. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. 4 times 1 will give us 4. 
Then 5 times 5 will give us 25. 6 times 3 will give us 18. 8 times 3 will give us 24. And 9 times 2 will give us 18. And then 10 times 1 will give us 10. And then 11 times 1 will give us 11. And 13 times 2 will give us 26. So when we are calculating the mean, we usually lose this formula. That is the sum of fx over sum of f. So the fx, you've already gotten the fx, which is the x times the f, which is a frequency. So these are the values we got. So we know that the total frequency is 142. Let's calculate the total frequency. This is not from the previous calculation. So if we add the total frequency, that is the sum of f, you get 20. So you have to add all these values of the frequency. If we add the values of fx, sum of fx, we are going to get 142. So 142. So when we get to the now the formula of the mean is going to be sum of fx over sum of f. So sum of fx is 142 divided by 20. So this is more or less similar to what we did in the previous um, data, which will give us 7.1. But you see now, because of the introduction of fx, uh, or some of or the product of fx, you're able to get the same calculation as we did before. Rarely do you, do you get given a raw data and you're told to calculate the mean, but most of the cases is where you're given a, a, a frequency di distribution table, and then you're told to use that frequency distribution table to calculate the mean. So let's do another example. So you have been told You've been given the specific uh, data you have been told to calculate the mean. So once again, the first thing we'll do is calculate the value of fx because the mean, is, the formula for the mean is sum of fx over sum of f. So fx, so that is 32 times 10, which gives us 320. And then we have 37 uh, times 30, which will give us 1,000. 110 and then we have 42 times 40 which will give us 1680 1680 and then we have 47 times 15 which will give us 705 and then we have the last one which is 52 times 5 which will give us 260 so you'll notice that this value doesn't have tally and you can see why the numbers are very big. So most of the time, not necessarily mean that you always be given the tally. Most of the time you'll be given the frequency, which is more or less like the tally. So you have been given the total frequency already. So we have the sum of F, which is 100. So we need to look for the sum of Fx. So that is going to be 320 uh, plus 1. 1010 plus 1680 plus 705 plus 260 which will give us 4075 so when you do the sum of fx so 4075 so it's 4075 divided by 100 which will give us 40 40.75, that is going to be our mean. So the thing that you need to pay attention when you're calculating this uh, question is make sure you add the values correctly and do your multiples correctly. You can use a calculator to ensure you get the correct values. This is one of the easiest calculation in stat statistics. So make sure you're able to get the addition. Don't make any error in terms of adding new values. Otherwise you get the question wrong, but you have the correct formula, but your addition or a multiplication is wrong. So that's it. So you can watch out uh, in the app. You can get more notes on the same and revision on the same. So you'll be given a set of data and you're told to use that data to create a frequency distribution table, or it will already have been created for you. And then you are told to use the information or the data that has been given to calculate the mean so you can go back there and check and practice on your own see if you're able to apply what you just learned in, in the calculation 
So see you in the next lesson.